Well, my name's Jonas Armstrong. I play Robin Hood. Touch those children and there's an arrow aim for you, Sheriff! Do it! Bruce! Children! Run! I think it's not as kind of light as, as last year. I think it's a bit weightier than last year, but the fights are bigger. I think it's just a bit, bit better show all round, basically. I think it's much stronger. I think the I think the audience will be happy with the second series. The locks, Wesley! Now! I think he's just become more of a, a stronger leader because he was formulating his gang last year and then the gang's all in place now and everybody's got their own jobs and everything and I think he's just more confident in his abilities and everything. I think he's grown up a lot. They're together now. Guy Gisborne's still on the periphery. Well, it's just hard for them because she's in the castle and he's out in the forest and he can't be seen, she can't be seen to be with him. My friends. The sheriff's kind of upped his game and he's there, he, he's got all these black knights together, formulated this clan to try and overthrow the king in England. So, Operation Charmat must move to the next phase. Mobilise your men, bring me your bids for funding. We must be ready. Now Robin could have killed the sheriff long, long, long ago, but he can't because if he does then, uh, then the people will suffer. <laughs> People of Nottingham! I put on some weight from the end of last year, but I mean, that wasn't very difficult. I was really, really slim by the end of last year. I was down to below that 10 stone. So I put it upon myself to hire a trainer, which was great fun. Um, so he put me through my paces. I managed to put on about a stone and a half in weight, but sadly, I haven't been able to upkeep that. It's kind of dropped off. Not all of it, but it's, it's certainly I wasn't as big as I was in episode one. Who is the night watchman? I don't know, Gisborne. But I do know I'll kiss him when I see him for stealing from you. And for showing it's not just me. I was doing a fight with Richard, who plays Guy Gisborne. And um, we were, uh, it was a scene in episode three. And he's battering me, basically. And I get thrown into the side of um, a hut and these huts have got kind of thick um, wooden bases to them and I was supposed to hit it with my back but I didn't turn in time, I hit it with my side and so my, my foot just kind of smashed into it and it just compressed and, and cracked so straight away the stunt night guys came over, they took my boots off, they put ice on it and then I went to hospital and then, you know, the, uh, the nurse, the doctor said you've got a fracture so that was that, so everybody panicked a bit and I went home the next day to England for four and a half weeks to kind of recover and then they carried on as much as they could and then they had to shut down filming for two weeks. One. He makes me laugh the most on set, I'd have to say probably Gordon, because he tries to be funny, constantly. I mean, if there's any kind of behind the scenes People on there, you can tell he just starts performing like a monkey. And uh, Keith, just because he's just quite dry and doesn't really care what he says and who's around when he says it, so those two, I'd say. You see, Gisborne, that's why I didn't say goodbye. Because I didn't want to see you cry. <laughs> what happens is I'll go out, I'm a friend, friend and um, we go out sometimes and then they think it's great to tell, to tell girls and stuff. So yeah, that's Robin Hood over there, so the lad who plays Robin Hood. So usually they don't believe it, they say, no he's not, he just looks like him. So I don't usually have that many experiences, so I say it's the reverse effect. They don't actually ever believe that I'm, that I'm an actor, so it's, it's quite nice to know. Yes. This is great for, for an actor of my age to get given a part and a chance to portray a kind of... Um, you know, a legend basically and part of British folklore which has been around for centuries and centuries. 
it's demanding and everything. It's hard work. I mean, people are kind of saying to me, oh, you've got it really lucky and all that, and my mate's back home, but it's not. It's, it's really difficult to kind of um, be out here and film for the hours that we do and in the conditions we do, but I mean, I wouldn't swap it for anything. So no, it's fantastic, yeah.